It's another day as we wake up to the most trending stories in the world of entertainment, get set as the tallest blogger brings you all the hot juicy stories you missed during the week on Hangouts with the tallest blogger. It's going to be a hot debate as we dive into deep issues, understanding the meanings and getting the facts right. Join me this and every Fridays at 9pm right here on this channel. I've missed everyone. Oh, Charlie, this coronavirus thing has really delayed stuff. I have really missed everyone who keeps watching Hangout with the tallest blogger every Friday. Anyways, we are welcome to today's edition of Hangout with the tallest blogger. Today, we are going on a different level. I am not here to bring you trending issues in the entertainment industry, but this time around i am bringing you something great a student from accra technical institute has done and then i believe after this the government would want to take over from there and then support him as we all know this show is proudly sponsored by expotainment.com and h and e delicious shitos kindly listen to the interview i had with a guy via call good day mr alfred yeah good day bro um i am george the tallest blogger i saw your amazing circulating on social media and i saw your number on the video the short video you made and i decided to call you and find out your inspiration behind it and then know the name behind it and also know how it works so my viewers out there and other people who would get this interview will know more about what you did can you please brief us on what the basin is the name okay. and then what it does and then the process it went through please okay please thank you for giving me the opportunity and also thanks my viewers out there actually i'm Inkum alfred from Accra technical university department of science laboratory i think i'm i'm a plan of coming out with this invention that was probably my was was my project work the reason why i came out with this automatic wash basin was like most of when you go to our washrooms and other places like you use your the same hand to open the tab and at the end of the day you still have to use the same hand to close the tab so i was thinking of how to minimize the spreading of microorganisms so i had the thought of coming out with this automatic wash basin so what actually this the principle behind this automatic wash basin is it has something called proximity sensor and what the proximity sensor does is the moment you take your hands there, we have a relay in the motherboard that is the logic board inside. So when you take your hand to closer to where the tap is, the sensor picks and send a message to the relay and there's a transistors inside the logic board. And this transistors, what it does is it also energizes electrical current and to send the energy back to we have something called a relay inside. So the relay energizes and it opens and sends a signal to. We have something inside the called submersible pump. What it does is it actually pumps water from the tank you see in there. So with the tank, there's another motor which pumps the water outside. That is the outlet. So basically, that is the function of this wash basin. Oh. And then, the, 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 I mean, like the objective behind this is to minimize the cross contamination among we the Ghanaians. Okay, so when when did you do this, please? Yeah, I could remember it was somehow June. Let me say somehow June. Yeah, it will be like June. Yeah, I did this project June. In 2019. Yes, please, 2019. Okay, so um, now that we are in. A, a pandemic period does coronavirus that has attacked the world can this automatic wash basin be used yeah i was thinking i was thinking about you know i did the project somewhere as i said earlier on somewhere june 2019 you know being i never thought of there will be an outbreak like the COVID 19 so 
So I was in bed and I didn't like, I was just thinking like, since social distancing, wash your hands and I was like, okay, well, then I have to bring my project work into the system. I think this will also help the government to also minimize the cross contamination or the cross contact. So I was there, I was like, yeah, it can actually help to reduce the number of cases we have in which like assuming if nobody has to touch and it's any you know and the path is touchless okay. so the moment you don't need to touch i think will, will actually help a lot okay i also saw a hole on top of the bees and is that where the water passes through a hole a hole yeah that is where that is let me see that is the inlet oh, okay that is the inlet yeah so when, when, if, I have, if I have to pour the water, I would have to pour it through that hole. Yes, please. You okay. have to do that. Okay. And then have you also thought of um, letting the minister, like the government of Ghana see this project? Yeah, I was, I was, I was somehow much, I was, I was, how do you call it? Let me put it like, I was disappointed. Let me read the word disappointed to my school like we did this project a long ago and we we're expecting something better i hope you get it okay because we know this can also help our government you know minimize this close contamination among ourselves in this pandemic moment we are now okay so yeah. it be, is it you and some other people that did it or the whole school no let me say sorry i'm the one did this okay. project okay yeah. okay so um are you taking any measures in place to meet any body in the government to introduce this um automatic watch basin yeah actually we can, i can't i can't really wait to have that opportunity if i'm given the chance okay. and then if you are being given the chance are you going to sell it or you are going to be uh, donated to the government we will donate to the government. We are not going to solve because, you know, that's, I think that's what I can also help to deliver. I mean, like, what, that is what I can help in this COVID-19. Okay. So if the government will come in and will be like, okay, then produce some for this. There's no way we will say no to that because we all want these cases to, I mean, like, so that we'll come back to our normal life. Okay, and then so, what if an individual wants it, somebody like me, I also need it, am I going to buy or you can also do it to help? Yeah, because for individual, you know, we would, we, 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 I plan of making the price so moderate so that people also purchase it, that is institution like hospitals and other places, you know, we make the price so moderate so that they can use it. Because we have to save our colleagues and our families and other stuff. So I don't think making the price too high for them will actually make a sense in that. And then how much are you going to sell it? Yeah, probably we have not thought of the price though. But this was a project work I did. So now, yeah, so I think for the pricing, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for a while. Okay. Well, Mr. Alfred, thank you for your time. In case anybody wants to contact you so he or she can patronize this, how do they reach you? Any numbers, any social media platforms? Yeah. Currently, I'm on, I'm on Twitter and I'm also on... I can give my email out as well as my telephone number. Okay. So, can kindly outline them every everything we have to know so if anybody is interested the person can reach you please kindly drop oh, okay so this my number is 024 024 56 56 51 51 yes 760 760 can you please come over it again 024 okay Five six. Okay. Five one. Okay. Seven six zero. Okay. And then your social media platforms, please. Yeah, I'm currently I'm on Instagram also as Linkfred IT Plus. And so when you come, can you said, um can you please spell it as as you pronounce it so Linfred, anybody who who is yeah. listen can easily find you. Okay, that is Linkfred. 
L I N F R E D and the I T plus. Okay. Okay. So thank and so you. when you come to chapter Kum Alfred five. Twitter. Twitter is Inkum Alfred five. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And then what of Facebook? Facebook is Crisby Crisby. Can you please spell it? C R I S B Y. Okay. And it's Crisby Crisby. Okay. okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for your time. And then we are proud you were able to do this last year, June. And then we feel this is the time we will need this project. And then we will also ensure it reaches the government so that it can also help reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our country. Thank you very much. You You're welcome. Come us some other time. Thanks very much for your time also. Okay. Bye. Bye. I believe we were all inspired after listening to the young man's interview. In case you want to reach him to do business with him, kindly dial the number he mentioned and also follow him on the various social media platforms. Please do well to stay safe at home, follow the precautionary measures and protect lives as well by staying at home. This show was proudly sponsored by Expotainment dot com and h and e sh delicious shitos see you same time next week friday 9 p.m same place do well to subscribe to this channel and then share the link as well same time next week bye bye it's another day as we wake up to the most trending stories in the world of entertainment get set as the tallest blogger brings you all the hot juicy stories you missed during the week on hangouts with the tallest blogger it's going to be a hot debate as we dive into deep issues understanding the meanness and getting the facts right join me this and every fridays at 9 pm right here on this channel <laughs>